Hey everyone, this is Jeff, and we're back. Episode 3, we're going to finish configuring SAB. This will probably be a relatively quick episode, and uh, then we'll get on to installing and configuring Sickbeard in Episode 4. Okay, we left off on the scheduling tab. Uh, email. If you want, you can have SAB notify you uh, for various conditions. You can have an email notification on, on every job completion, so every time it downloads something. I don't suggest doing that, but if you wanted to, you could. You could set that to error only if you chose. Uh, if you want to get notified of your you know, disk being full or other things, you would just configure your SMTP information here, you know, how to send the email, tell SAB what to do. I would recommend you test it and uh, you'd be all set. I'm not actually taking advantage of this functionality, but if you wanted to, this is the tab and how you would configure it. Okay, let's go to index sites. This is where you'll input your NZB matrix information. Uh, if you want to, you can also use NZB matrix directly with a web browser and you could create bookmarks of things you wanted to download. And then you could, uh, after inputting your account information, you could ask SAB to go get your bookmarks and download those files. I, you could also set it up to automatically do that. I, I don't use uh, NZB matrix that way. I uh, use, you know, sick beard, couch potato headphones. They search via NZB matrix. They find the actual uh, NZBs that we want and send them to SAB. So I don't actually take advantage of this at all. But if you wanted to, that's how you would do it. All right, let's go to the categories tab. Categories are actually useful. We're going to create three categories for ourselves for this configuration. Uh, and what we're basically going to do is tell SAB what to do with different types of downloads. So when Sickbeard sends a TV show, what do we want SAB to do with that? And the same thing for movies or music. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our TV category. And right now we're gonna leave everything default. And when we do some of the Sickbeard configuration, we're gonna come back and tweak these settings. But for now, we're just gonna add the category TV. We're also gonna add movies and <coughs> I want to draw your attention to this line here. It says relative folders are based. So we configured on the folders tab earlier, uh, C library downloads complete is where completed downloads go. We want to actually move movie downloads into their own folder. And in order to do that, we're going to add a folder here, which will actually append on the end of this path. So the movies folder, we will just make movies simply and we'll click add and then we'll do the same thing for music we'll make a music folder and we'll say add uh, all right all this is really done right now is when sab downloads something categorized as a movie it will put the completed files in a folder under complete called movies and what we're going to then do is we're going to tell couch potato to look in the movies folder under complete to find its stuff and we'll tell headphones to look in the music folder under complete otherwise we could end up having two programs or three programs looking in the same directory at the same files and possibly processing in fact it's actually happened to me where Sickbeard downloaded a TV show and before Sickbeard was able to post process it it just so happened timing wise that couch potato looked in the directory saw something and thought it was something it should do work with and I, I ended up with a very strange Russian named episode of Top Gear as a movie. Don't want to do that. So if we separate things, put them in their own folders, that solves our problem. So we've created our categories and we'll come back and configure the TV category again when we do the rest of the sick beard configuration. Okay. Our last tab here is sorting. And we want to use a particular sorting methodology mainly because we want things to work correctly with XBMC. And the one that I found works best is to use a sort string with this, this season 01 episode 0x and a season folder. So here's what our example will look like. We'll start in C library downloads complete and then we will get the name of our TV show, what season it is, and then the name of the show with an episode structure and then the name of the episode. And that works from my perspective best for using XBMC. When 
Sickbeard processes this download, it will move things to our library structure where we're going to point uh, XBMC. When that happens, it'll actually move everything and keep this folder structure. And when XBMC looks at that to import into its database, it usually works flawlessly. So that's why I selected that. And then for move resorting, all I really want is folders. And I want folders with this per percent Y here. It gives me the n year. So I get movie name f and the year it was made. And then I get movie name, year it was made. If there's multiple CDs, I get CD1, CD2. And again, that structure seems to work best for importing into XBMC. So I'm just going to save my changes here. And now the general configuration for SAB is complete. If we go back to our downloads main page, SAB is ready and willing to download stuff. So we'll end this video here and we will pick up in episode four with installation and configuration of Sickbeard. We'll see you again.